This week on High Points, we're going to be talking about the difference between coins and tokens. Eric has all the answers today. <laughs> I don't yet, but I will. Let's get into it. So what is the difference between a token and a coin? It's also confusing to me. So I think an analogy that we can use to talk about what a token versus a coin is, is you could think about coins as if we were going to talk about trading cards, for example. You could think of Bitcoin as Pokemon cards. And you could think of Ethereum as Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And so every token would be a specific card from that pack. Now, just because you have a specific token doesn't mean someone else might not have the same one because Pokemon, obviously, they make multiple of the same card. A Pokemon deck has all those cards in it. And so the same way the Bitcoin blockchain with colored coins and other services on top can have tokens that sit on top of it. Those are like the Pokemon cards, essentially. Some have more value than others, so mm -hmm. you can think about it that way. You know, some of the cards in the pack ended up becoming really valuable. So that's where the NFT would fall into place because then you can have custom ones, correct? So with NFTs, you, I mean, it can literally be, hey, there's a new card that I invented that's going into this Pokemon deck, but I only made one. Mm -hmm. It's super rare. <laughs> there's only one of them out there. And so, because NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Mm -hmm. The idea of it being non-fungible literally means that it, there's no replacement for it. Fungibility is the idea that whether I have a different one, if we trade, we still have the exact same thing. So if you look at like US dollars are fungible mm -hmm. because if I have a dollar and you have a dollar and we trade our dollars, it doesn't mean anything to us. Mm -hmm. We're like, well, it might have a different serial number on it, but at the end of the day, it's the same values. NFTs were meant to be the opposite of that, but they are also tokens. They're non-fungible tokens. tokens. They're limited edition sets and they're not really exchangeable with other NFTs. Mm -hmm. So if I have a specific NFT, I don't necessarily believe that your NFT is worth the same as mine because mm -hmm. they're all different. Tokens, on the other hand, are meant to be very much like coins in the sense that they are fungible. If there's a million of them, say I, I mint a new token and there's a million tokens, every one of those tokens in theory should be worth exactly the same as each other because they're identical to each other. So if I have 10 of them and you have 10, and I say, hey, you want to trade 10 for 10? Mm -hmm. We haven't really traded anything yeah. in the end. So I trade Just you like, 10 Pikachus for your 10 Pikachus then. Right, exactly. Yeah. So going back to the Pokemon analogy. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing about tokens is anyone can create them. So it's as if Nintendo said, hey, going forward, anyone can create their own Pokemon card mm -hmm. and mass produce it. And that's mm -hmm. kind of how tokens work. Damn. I'm waiting for that Eric coin. So I want to go through some of like the most popular cryptocurrencies and see if you can tell me which ones are tokens and which ones are coins because I'm still a little confused. Like I'm getting there, but I just need a little bit more. So let's start with the overrated one. I'm just kidding. The most famous one known as Bitcoin that would I would assume would be a bit a coin because it's a coin. It is a coin. It has its own distributed ledger. It's the first real distributed ledger that became popular in this era of cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And it is a coin, yes. Okay, what about Doge? Because I'm curious. Doge is, a, mm -hmm. is actually a fork of Bitcoin. So okay. it is its own distributed ledger. It, it's its own coin. Mm -hmm. Shiba Inu, on the other hand, actually was a token on top of Ethereum initially. And they just recently are moving to their own chain, which will make them their own coin. So they're actually moving from being a token to a coin. What about Garfield coin? <laughs> It's a coin? Which one? The, the real one. The real Garfield. Okay, so as far as I know, every Garfield coin out there is a scam. And I, everyone knows in the office I lost money on a Garfield coin scam. But that's a, that's a story for another time. Yeah. But Garfield coins generally sit on top of Ethereum. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, they're all scams. Don't invest in Garfield tokens because they're scams, usually. Eric? Do you now understand the difference between a coin and a token? Do I understand this? Yes, and maybe no. <laughs> Not fully, but yes, getting there. <laughs> Well, if you've been active on our social media, you're aware that I've recently been named the king of bling. I wanted to let you guys know that as one of my first things, I was going through, plundering through the databases to figure out where we could get more bling points for everyone. And I found that there's a lot of inactive accounts that have been sitting around for a couple years even unused. In our terms of service, it says that if you're not active on our platform for a certain amount of time, then we can expire your points. And so we thought, hmm, we don't really want to expire people's points. Points, but if they're gone and they're not coming back, maybe we can take those points and actually put them to use with current players on the platform. We want to let you know that we're going to be running another event and we're going to be giving away points in honor of the players that decided to leave and their points will be expiring. And also stay active on the platform because if you become inactive, we may decide to expire your points and mm -hmm. give them to players that are active at the time. And then also follow us on our social media that's going to be shown here. 
Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope that your week is full of high points. See you next time.